as I kneel in the darkness in the middle of the night and I've been praying for assurance Lord is everything gonna be all right Lord I see another battle that's out in front of me I don't know if I'll be able and I'll go down in defeat listen then he said do you remember just where I brought you from oh take a look behind you and how far you've come and every time that you asked me would it not deliver you so why would you be thinking that I wouldn't see you through that he made a home saying my bills are coming due Lord and three days are not been long oh but then you hear that same voice so softly say I moved like that before I can do that little thing I can give you so much more sing this next song but I found when it comes to meetings like this and in times like this when God wants to take you to another level sometimes before you can go up to the top of the mountain you got to let some weight off sometimes before you can go to a new level you got to be ready to fight new devils and not everything that's with you now can go to where God's taking you y'all listening Sometimes before God can ever give you the blessing that He has designed for you, He's going to make you lay some things down. I'll be honest, i got a list of things that I want God to take from me. 
But I got a couple of things in a hidden drawer that I don't want God going nowhere near. My comfort zone. The things I love. The things I like. But how many of you know that God has never said oops? Never. And I don't understand why God does some of the things the way He does, but I do know this. I've never seen God take something from me that He didn't give it back better. And uh, this song that I'm going to sing next came from a very hard time in our life. It came from a very serious time in our life. It came from a moment, a season of grief. We lost our son, Cashton Isaac, and laid him in the ground. We planted him. We put him in the ground because he's not lost. We know where he is. And there's coming a day he's going to get up out of that grave. Amen. But I'll never forget when the doctors had gave us no hope and when it looked like that Becky was going to deliver little Cashton and that we were barely going to get to hold our little son. There were times in all that the devil sat on the edge of my bed and said, where's your God at now? Where is your God? Remember when we was riding down the road one day, Becky's a sobbing, crying. She said, I believe the Lord wants us to change the baby's name. I said, to what? She said, God wants me to call him Isaac. Because it appears that God's asking us to lay our little Isaac down. She said, best I know how. I want God to know that if He takes him, I'm going to try to trust Him. If God heals Him, we'll shout all across the country. But if God chooses not, we want to try our best to trust Him. I don't know what it is in your life here tonight that God may be trying to weed out of your life or ask you to lay down for His cause. I promise you this. He's faithful. He's faithful. Listen to this. Abraham prayed for the day.
I will, I will love her. I'm going to love and trust him. I'm 